this is asus rog g14 laptop everything is fine but here is a little problem so this one had windows 10 pro recently upgraded to windows 11 since it upgraded the bios system also upgraded since then the trackpad doesn't work into the bios even if you connect any external mouse still it doesn't respond but when you get into the operating system the trackpad is fine also external mouse is fine okay so today in this video i'm going to show you in that situation if you would like to install any windows then obviously you can't customize the boot option because the trackpad is not working and your internal uh, storage as a first boot so when you try to select the external device as a first boot it doesn't let you do even when you connect it to external mouse as you can see there was the mouse light but when i try to change anything it doesn't let me have any option to be honest so in this situation still you can reinstall windows but it depends so example if you if your current windows in uefi environment then your external usb uh, bootable thumb drive has to be in uefi if your internal running windows in legacy mode then your external bootable usb thumb drive also has to be in legacy mode then you'd be able to do that so let's start so what are you going to do first first we're going to try to use the keyboard and see if you can resolve the issue so as you can see when i press that tab button it goes it skip one option to another so example right now i'm in boot priority option as you can see i selected it by hitting the enter then i press the up and down arrow but it doesn't drag or it doesn't change the position so that's mean in this situation your keyboard also not helpful to change the boot option so what i'm going to do now i'm going to forcefully shut it down a couple of times just to get into windows automatic recovery option so let's try when i see it's loading up i'm going to press and hold again to switch it off then i'm going to press back to turn it on again until i see the windows automatic recovery option so let's try a couple of times hopefully that would work now it takes a few shots so about three to four hopefully this time we'll win if not we have to try again so it didn't work all right so we have to keep trying it as you can see the truck fed is working i'm going to shut it down or restart force restart again press it as i said you have to play a few times might be you are successful in couple of shots if not keep trying it as you can see it says please wait let the power button go and then wait until you see the windows uh, recovery option so as you can see it says the windows did not start it up properly okay and this is only for the video purpose i already installed windows so now as you can see the trackpad is working so from here we can choose an option which is called use the device and don't forget to connect your bootable windows 10 or 11 thumb drive in there make sure your usb connected properly so once i click here what would happen is the actual firmware the bios system would recognize this one as a first boot even we are not in the bio side okay so i can see it recognized the usb shows the red light and now we're going to hit that option so let's do that yep and then this is my usb the top one as you can see uefi click here now it's going to load up okay and i can see it's blinking so that's mean it's working now sometimes it takes time to load up even this is one of the strong gaming laptop you know 
So example, if my one took more than a minute, which is completely unexpected, but I don't have to forget because the actual USB, this is one of the cheap quality one from Amazon. If you do have first good quality USB, then this process is going to be much more faster. Okay. So this is loading up everything. And from here, I would be able to do the clean installation. As you can see, Windows setup page here, hit next, accept the terms and condition and the system would allow us to choose either if you would like to upgrade it or if you would like to do the custom clean installation. So accept it, hit next. Now if you choose the bottom one, which is custom installation, that's going to give us a clear option. Now we can delete all the partition to make a single partition. But remember, if you do have any important data in there, make sure to, before you format it, you do back it up into your external drive. Otherwise, you're going to lose all the data. OK, so you're going to delete all of them one by one. Keep the single partition or if you'd like to recreate a couple of partitions, you're free to do. And once we hit next, it's going to start the actual process and it's going to download the system and everything would be fine. So that's how you solve the trackpad issue to reinstall Windows into your ASUS G14 laptop. Thank you so much for watching. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.